but it's not like oh, they yeah. need the, the announcements. I'll just record the announcements in the other class or something. <laughs> All right, but good morning, everyone. It's happy it's Friday. Um, it's been a nice week, actually. I think we had a pretty, a couple of good days here, um, but definitely always looking forward to the weekend. So um, I know a lot of you have gotten your homework done early. So yay, you get to enjoy your free um, math homework day, um, weekend, sorry. So I'm glad, I'm happy for you guys. So today we are finishing your um, week three notebook. And I'm going to put the link to that in the chat and I'll start sharing my screen before I forget. There we go. Okay, so we are working on our week three notebook. We're finishing that up. I've dropped the link for you guys in the chat, but if you're in Google Classroom, you can just go to classwork under week three. You can look for your week three notebook slope. Click on that. And then make sure you are logging in so that all your work is always being safe. But if you're not logging in and you're typing in your name, then make sure you're doing it the same every single day. If you don't do it the same every single day, then um, you're gonna be missing your work basically. So as soon as class kick is ready to load for me, See, so we See, have the same problem. Yeah, I was about to say the same thing. <laughs> did you, like, so when stuff like this happens, it's always, did you make sure that you refreshed? You know, if it's still giving you that problem, then, you know, close Chrome, open it up again, try it again. See, it's still giving her, so probably, you know, one more time. And then I would probably say close Chrome yeah. and then open it up again. Okay, so we you need to kind of learn how I mean class cake is a like they have really picky emotions. So <laughs> sometimes, you know, you just really need to like give it flowers, give it a couple of chocolates, give it flowers. tell, tell, tell class cake that, you know, he, you know, it looks pretty. Um, you, know, you don't look fat. Those jeans make your butt look good. You know, all, all, all those nice things. Okay, hopefully it works. So whenever you guys send us messages like, oh, this isn't working. We go through the exact same process too. Switch your, change your slides. See if that like, Nope. Let me see. Do I have it open somewhere else? Mm -mm -mm. Nope. Here, I'll close mine. But I'm not logged into yours. Then log into mine. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I like broke it. Just of course, we're like, oh, yeah, this will take like almost no time. And then what happens? Do you have what do you have it under doc? Oh, yeah, like, just or log actually in. log into your account. I, yeah, you can always log in and then make a copy of the assignment and then just move the pieces. Oh, yeah, you guys are telling me to log in. But Again, remember, if I log in, I'm messing on the teacher side, but that, hold on, yeah. let me see. That, that's why I said, like, you can always make a copy and then move yeah. all the pieces, and then that's not going to mess with their, their stuff. Okay. Don't want to show passwords or anything. Just <laughs> okay. Let me make a copy. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, see, we have the same thing. Okay, I'm on the copy side, so now you guys shouldn't have trouble with that. Yeah, if I log in, it'll log me into the teacher side, and then if I start moving pieces, you'll you'll see that somebody's moving your pieces, which is actually me. 
Um, and then I do the work for you. <laughs> They're like, but, wait, you can, make, I mean, you can do that. Like, it's totally fine. <laughs> like we give you permission to do our work. I mean, it's, it's cool. It's okay. <laughs> um, so I know there was someone <laughs> that, wanted, someone said yes. I yes. know there was someone that wanted to get a screenshot of uh, day four, and I'll see if I can get back into it towards the end of our class, and I'll give you some time to take a screenshot of it then. Uh, but today shouldn't be uh, too long for you guys. Um, we should actually be done early, which means you'll have some time to catch up on any missing assignments, any assignments due Monday, and even today's assignment, which shouldn't take you too long. Um, but we are talking about slope intercept form. We're really diving a lot deeper into our linear equations unit and using that slope that we've been talking about. All right, so give me a thumbs up if you guys have been able to open up your class kick notes. Give me a clap if you need more time. Thank you guys. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. There we go. So we are giving you a little introduction into slope intercept form, which is another form of a linear equation. So we'll start off with your objective. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to say that I can determine the slope and y intercept of an equation, and more specifically, the slope intercept form equation. So we can go on over to your Google Notes to your Google Notes, to your class kick notes. Go ahead and grab that. I can determine the slope objective here. Grab your objective, put it right there in your objective box. All right, so how are we going to be able to determine the slope and y-intercept when we are looking at an equation? Well, we have an actual um, equation that we can use to write any type of linear equation, and it's called the slope-intercept form. So the slope-intercept form is just one way to write the equation of a line, and it's actually my favorite way of writing the equation of a line. Oh, not the pen. And what you want to know about this equation is that you are given the slope, which is why we see that in the name here. We have we are given the slope and we are given the intercept. So if you're ever stuck and you can't remember how do we write a slope intercept form equation, just think of those two words. You're going to need the slope and you're going to need the intercept. When you have the equation, you want to think about the number before the x. That is your slope. So the slope is the number written before the x. And the y-intercept is the constant. Constant just means a number all by itself written at the end. So this is what all slope-intercept form equations look like. It's in this form. y equals mx plus b. And because I love colors and I love color coding, I color coded again for you guys. We have pink and we have light blue. So you'll see, you'll actually see this a lot now going forward, even when we work on a completely new unit, we're still working with our linear equations, our slope intercept form. So whenever you see your equations here, remember the letter here, M, we use that for slope and we've used it in our slope formula. So this M is for our slope. And always remember that this slope has to be in front of the X. So if I gave you the slope, you just put it in front of the X here. If you have a slope of two, then we should have a two there. At the very end here, this blue letter, our B, this B is used for the Y intercept. Oh, I forgot to, there we go. Um, sorry, I forgot to mention that our slope, sometimes we also call it a rate of change. So you've heard us use both of those as we have been talking about this and using your Desmos activities. So if you hear slope, we're also talking about rate of change. If you hear rate of change, we're also talking about slope. It's two different ways of saying that. Um, B is our y-intercept. 
Now, I'm not sure if a lot of you have been familiar with what a y-intercept is, and which is why I really wanted to bring this to your attention. I gave you some little notes here. It's the point where the line crosses the y-axis. So if we have a graph, okay, you're, you should be looking at your y-axis, and whatever point it is you have on that y-axis, that will be our y-intercept. In this case, look at that big blue dot. This is actually on the one. The one would be our y-intercept. So another way of us referring to the y-intercept that you're going to see is the word, the words initial value. So when we're talking about initial value, when we're talking about y-intercept, they are the same thing. Um, and when you think about the word initial value, it has that word initial. That word initial means like a beginning, a start. And that'll be that'll come in handy when we're looking at our tables, especially. So let's go on over to your class kick notes and drag those pieces over. Slope intercept form is just one way of writing the equation of a line. The equation will have the slope written before the x right in front of it, and the y-intercept will be written at the end. This was our equation, y equals mx plus b. Our m is the slope, the rate of change, and our b is the y-intercept. So oh, that's basically it for these pieces. The rest we're going to be writing on here. So no more pieces to drag. We will be doing some writing. So while you're completing that, I want to call, um, make sure you pay attention to one more thing that I have up here on your notes. That's this little link here where it says IMATH1 word wall. If you click on that, it's going to take you to some Google Slides. And it basically gives you all of the words that we've talked about so far all of the things we were, we've been working on. We started off by talking about the coordinate plane, okay? Y-axis, we're seeing this again. This is your Y-axis, the line that's going down. And then ordered pair, I'm letting you, I'm reminding you, the first number here is our X-coordinate, the second number is our Y-coordinate. We've talked about slope, so here's everything you wanna remember about slope, rise over run, our slope formula, what it looks like on a graph. So why am I doing all this? Because all of this is coming together here in our linear equation. Remember y equals mx plus b, that's our slope intercept form. This is slope. Well, you have ways of finding slope here. Your y-intercept, this is what I really wanna make sure that you guys understand. The y-intercept, if you have a line, that point here where this line crosses our y-axis is your y-intercept. So in this case, it would be three. So this is your word wall here. Let me zoom out. If you ever forget any of these words, if you click on that, it'll be quick reminders, little pictures or words that will help you remember what any of those pieces are. And I'll make sure to be giving it to you con constantly. All right, so now that we understand the equation, we're gonna go ahead and practice by using examples of looking at an equation and figuring out what is the slope of that equation? What is the y-intercept of that equation? So let's try some examples here. It says, example number one, find the slope and y-intercept of the equation y equals 3x plus 2. We're going to start by finding m, the slope. Remember, the slope is the number in front of our x, which in this case is 3. So your slope is 3. And if we think about what this means, it's telling us we rise three and run one. Remember, we could write that as a fraction. So all of these things are coming together and you're gonna, um, and we're gonna be able to write equations from graphs. If we have a graph, we're gonna be able to, um, sorry, if we have an equation, we should be able to graph it. Okay, our y-intercept, remember that's the number at the end of our equation, which is two. So our y-intercept here is two. So we can go on over to our class kick notes. 
we said our slope here is the number in front of that x, so that is 3. Our y-intercept, b, is that positive 2, so we can write 2. All right, we're going to go back and try it one more time with our example. And this time you guys can help me out. If it says find the slope and y-intercept of y equals 1 fourth x minus 1, what is the slope? What is our m? I need, you can let me know in the chat. Or unmute, wait, I don't think they can unmute themselves, right? Okay, so let me know in the chat. Thank you. Yes, you're correct. <laughs> Good job, guys. Uh, so let me go back here. It's one fourth. The number in front of our x is the slope. So the cool thing is that it's already as a fraction. It's a positive fraction. So think about what it means to have one fourth as your slope. We rise one and run four. So keep that in mind because next week we'll be using all of those things. All right, what is our y-intercept? Good job, yes, perfect. So in this one, you have to make sure you include that negative. See, the equation has that plus b, but if we ever have a negative, a positive and a negative turns into that minus. So that tells us the y-intercept is a negative one. Not just one, a negative one. So you have gotta be careful with that. Okay, we can go on over to your notes. Do the same over here. We know our slope is one over four. And our y-intercept, the number at the very end here, is negative one. And that is it for your notes. And actually, you know, we just, we're taking really baby steps here because if you understand the equation, Monday should be a little easier for you. Tuesday should also be a little easier for you. And for some reason, we noticed that last semester students struggled with this equation and we wanted to slow it down for you guys so that you actually really get a good idea of what this equation is giving you. Okay, I'm going to zoom out and let you guys take a picture of this. That's good. So if you're not able to follow along with us on ClassKick, go ahead and take a screenshot of that now. And on the next page, if you thought this wasn't too bad, the next page won't be too bad either. That will be our your turn. I'll give you an example of how to complete it. And then I will, um, I will give you time to complete it on your own and we can share some answers, make sure you're correct. All right, give me a thumbs up if you're good with this page. Yeah, yes, I've gotten that question a lot. So towards the end, can you show slide one and two? I will try to show you my slide one and two if ClassKick lets me right now because I couldn't use my or the other name. I don't have anything in slide one. But perhaps at the end, if ClassKick is acting up for me, I'll ask Doc to share, show it to you guys. So we'll find a way for you to get that. And if not, remember, the notes are always in the videos. Well, technically you can um, go and view your, uh, because you're technically the teacher too. So you can view yours. Yes, that's true. As a student. <laughs> I forgot that. I will it's show okay. it to you. There's always a way, huh? <laughs> okay. So don't worry, I got you. I'll show it to you. All right, let's go ahead and move on over to slide four or page four. So page four, you have a couple of questions here. We're asking you to find the slope and y-intercept of the following linear equation. And we actually already have slopes over here and we have y-intercepts over here. All you're going to do is drag the correct slopes to the correct equations and the correct y-intercepts to the correct equations there. But let me show you how it's done over here. So. 
you have the equation y equals mx plus b. Remember the number in front of the x, that m is our slope. The number at the end here, our b is our y-intercept. So in these six questions, you're going to find the slope and y-intercept of the following linear equations. Let's start with one. y equals 3x plus 4. Anybody that can tell me what is the slope of this equation? What would be our slope? Yes, good job. So we would say m equals 3. OK, what is our y-intercept of this equation? Yes, good job. You guys are fast. b equals 4. Our y-intercept is 4. So again, if you're able to already identify these two things, graphing them and then writing your equations is it's going to be a piece of cake for you guys. So I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to look for m equals 3. Our slope is 3. This is a pretty big piece. I can make it smaller, and I probably should have done that on your end. <laughs> you guys won't be able to make it smaller, though. No, you can't make it smaller. Um, it this Yeah, it's harder to, yeah. <laughs> All right, and we said our y-intercept, our b, is 4. There we go. So just how I did this, I dragged an m and I dragged the b. You are going to do that for 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Five, I'm sorry, 3 and 6 might give you a harder time than the others. But just really think about the form of this. This should always be true. M, our slope, will always be in front of our x. B will always be the number at the end. So if you don't have a B, think about what that means. Nothing, what kind of number is nothing? If you don't have a slope, think about what does it mean to have no slope? What kind of number do we use for nothing? Okay, so I'm going to give you guys four minutes. Surprisingly, the last class, there were some students that took the four minutes, but I know some of you might already be done or might be close to finishing it, but I'm going to set four minutes on my timer and you are gonna drag the rest of these pieces to the correct spot. If you did finish that, there's the reflection section down here. Grab the little text, draw your text box and start typing what new math word you learned today. If it's a word that you've already seen, then just give me the word of the day. And we've talked about a couple of things. What is a new strategy that you learned today? Strategy just means the steps that you learn to take or anything and any questions you might have. If you don't have a question, then say, I don't have a question today. So to get full points for the your turn, you need to have these pieces in the correct spot and you need to fill out your reflection. All right, you guys have three minutes left. If you have any questions, let us know in the chat. Oh, okay. Good morning. If you're just joining us, I think I have a link here. Yeah, there you go. If you're just joining us, we're actually at the tail end of finishing our um, class kick notes. So I'm gonna drop the link in there for your class kick notes. If you click on that, it'll take you directly to these um, two pages. I can actually show you guys the last page number three. There we go. So this is how page three should be completed. If you wanna take a screenshot of that so that you can complete it on your own, you can go ahead and do that. So on page three, there's a couple of pieces you wanna drag and you wanna write your answers here. First examples one and two. And on slide four, this is the your turn for today. You're just dragging the, the pieces to the correct spots for your slopes and your y-intercepts. And if you have any questions, you can let us know in the chat. But let me go back to this one. That way you can complete your notes. All right, two minutes.
Oh my goodness, there's some of you that are already done. That's good, that's good. I'm glad. It's a nice little Friday for us. Okay, you know how I mentioned that um, I was going to turn all assignments back to not being read? Mm -hmm. It affects. At this point, if you guys oh. don't do certain pieces, it doesn't affect your grade as dramatically as it did before. So I think I'm just gonna leave it as red. If you guys have an issue, then I will change it specifically for you. But um, it shouldn't, your parents shouldn't get like crazy upset or anything like that, you know? Cause you guys have actually been doing a better job about turning in your assignments on time because you're really liking that extra credit that you've been getting <laughs> so it's not affecting your grade as dramatically as it did before it may be like two percent let me go in there and check week three Almost there, let me see. Also guys, don't forget to do that permission slip. If you guys fill that in, there's still a few of you guys who haven't turned that in. That's 10 points extra credit just for signing that. There is nothing else that you need to get done. So if you guys do that, you guys get 10 points extra credit for filling that out. There you go, correct. All right. We're gonna go ahead and get started and checking your answers here. All right, so I'm gonna get some help from you guys though, since this is technically your turn. So let me know you guys what, for number two, what is our slope? Our M, what is our slope? Yes, perfect. Our slope M is negative two, the number in front of our X. What is our Y intercept? Yes, good job. Our B Y intercept is negative one, that number at the very end here. Okay, for some of you, number three might have been a little challenging, but you still wanna follow those steps. You still wanna make sure you are, you're keeping in mind that the slope is always in front of the X and our y-intercept is that number at the end. So what is our slope for number three? Yeah, good job. M equals five. So this part maybe gave you guys a hard time. What is our y-intercept? Yeah, good job. So if there's nothing here at the end, that means it's zero. We use zero for nothing, to show nothing. So our B, our y-intercept is zero. All right, for those of you that are just joining us, we are working on your class kick notes. We're on the last page of week three. So I'm gonna drop the link for um, your class kick notebook week three. So click on that, it'll take you directly to your notebook and we are actually working on page four. I'll go back and let you take a screenshot of page three as soon as we're done with this. Not too bad. So you should be able to catch up fairly quickly. All right, good job. For those of you that said zero for our y-intercept, that's correct. There's nothing at the end here, which means that can only mean zero. All right, number four. 
our slope. What is our slope in this equation? Y equals 5,8x minus 4. Good job. M, it, our slope is 5 over 8. So remember, keep in mind that this is telling us to rise 5 because it's positive, and then run to the right 8. So keep those things in mind. What is our y-intercept? Yes, good job. Negative 4. All right, number 5. What is our slope here? For our equation, y equals negative 2 over 9x minus 1 over 4. Yes, good job. Man, you guys are fast. The, all of a sudden, all these messages popped up. Yes, negative 2, 9. And somebody already gave me the y-intercept. Uh, what is our y-intercept? There you go. B equals negative 1 over 4. Placement. The placement is very important. Keep, in, keep those things in mind. Okay, number six, I wanna see if we trick you guys here. No, okay. <laughs> what is our slope? What do you think our slope is? Yeah, good job. Our slope is zero. There's no number in front of our X. There's actually no X. So what does that mean? No X's means zero. So that would be our slope is zero. So that, think of your zero slope. That's our horizontal line, our line that goes left and right. <laughs> And what is our y-intercept? But you guys already told me that. That would be six. So see the differences here. No x means zero slope. Only a number means that is our y-intercept. So major difference. So all you had to do was just drag those correct pieces over. Um, that should be negative two here, negative one for our y-intercept a five as our slope, no y-intercept, which means zero for our y-intercept. Well, our y-intercept is zero actually. So we do have a y-intercept, it's just zero. Um, our slope here was is five eighths and our y-intercept is negative four. And then we had negative two ninths as our slope and negative one fourth as our y-intercept. We have a zero slope here for zero x's, and we have a y-intercept of six. So this is what slide four or page four of your class kick week three notebook should look like when it's completely done. So if those of you, um, for those of you that joined us late, go ahead and take a screenshot of this. And I will go back and show you. Um, Slide three, there it is. There's slide three. Take a screenshot of this now and you can complete it. All right, so then other than that, if you do have page one and page two fully completed of your week three notebook, you're done for your week three notebook. You can actually hit turn in, um, or done on that in Google Classroom. Oh, five of you, good job, you guys. So there's five of you that are completely done. Again, remember that means you actually filled in your reflections, okay? If you had any questions, you wanna let us know here. I've been trying to go in there and answer your guys' questions and I like your guys' questions, but throughout the week, I've also answered them as well. Yeah, and make sure like you, like the only one that can be blank should be the question one you know if you don't have a question then fine leave it blank but when it comes to strategies if you didn't find a new strategy then tell us one of the strategies that we talked about like oh um the name slope intercept form it's in that order that i'm supposed to you know write it out you know uh what's a new word that you use oh maybe y intercept is a new word so please be careful and actually fill it out or else I will make you guys go back. And um, if you, Ms. Gomez, can you put that sticker that I show that I put on you? I yeah. didn't put it on you yet. <laughs> uh, it, it was this one, right? It's the oh. one that says, where's your work? It won't, it won't. Oh no, it let will. Because, like, oh yeah. It will, yeah. No. It's saying, uh, okay, then I'll do it. Hold on. Because <laughs> if you guys see that, that means that you guys are missing something and I'm not giving you guys full points for that piece. 
So let me find Miss Gomez's stuff. But remember, I'm on the teacher side. I created a new one, so I don't know if you oh, will be able to. Oh, that's right. Okay. That's... But I will. I will show you what it looks like. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Okay. Let me just make sure that we can't see a name. So this is an actual. Oh, you can see the name. No. Hold on. You let can me um, anonymize it and like when you're viewing everybody's stuff and the filters. Oh. Yeah. Okay. There we go. So you'll see a sticker on there. This is me. I gave the student this sticker, but you will also see Doc's sticker. Oh, here it is, which I believe was this oh, one. No, 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 not that one. It's it's mm. yours up, up. It's the plus three one. It's yours. <laughs> yeah, it's that one. This Where's one? your work? So you'll It'll see like it that. down here on your reflection or anywhere where you should have Somewhere. work. Yeah. Yeah. So if you see that one, that means you guys still need to show me some work. Mm hmm. But All I'm right. going to be going into your notebook right now and start giving you guys a bunch of stickers. <laughs> Sticker time. All right. So I know you guys wanted to see, let me stop sharing really quickly and get situated here. Some of you have been asking for page one and page two. So before I actually show you guys how to do today's homework, I'll show you those pages. Fingers crossed I can get into them. Oh no, I know what to do. You, I remembered you told me. Go in here. Week three. New work. Where's Ms. Gomez's work? Ms. Gomez. Okay, here it is. For those of you that wanted to see page one and page two, here's page one. Go ahead and take a screenshot of that. Give me a give me a thumbs up if I can move on to the next one. Or give me a clap if you still need more time to take a screenshot. Okay, thank you. Here is slide two or page two. Now, remember in class we did one and two, you were in charge of doing three. So in order to get full points, we wanna see your work for three. Don't just type in a random answer in here. Actually show us work so you can get your points. And don't forget to write your reflection. So give me a thumbs up if you're good with that one. Give me a clap if you still need more time to get that screenshot. Okay. So if there's anyone else that needs a screenshot, let me know now in the chat. Also guys, like the example parts that she did for today, that like I just saw that somebody didn't actually do that. Make sure that you guys mm -hmm. are doing that piece. So let me go back to that copy. There we go. Here are the examples. You need to have the answers for M and B in both of them. All right, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and explain how to complete today's homework. We're actually going a little bit in reverse, or um, it just depends the way you see it. But this time, the homework gives you the slope and the y-intercept. So today's homework is this one here, homework number eight, slope-intercept form equations. I'm going to get that link. I'll drop it in the chat for you guys. There it is. So if you go on over to your chat, if you click on that link I just gave you, that is today's homework. It's a Google Forms. But if you're in Google Classroom and you wanna know how to get to it, you can go to Classwork under week three, 
All you'll need to do is count probably one, two, because your exit ticket should come up soon. Um, you'll have your eight homework number eight. If you refresh it, it'll show. Yeah, there it is. Oh, already. Oh, there it is. I, I just put it in because some people were asking for it. Oh. You guys already are so used to the procedures. You already know what to do. All right. So you're going to type in your first name and your last name. I'll say Miss G and click on next. This is what your questions will look like. There's a total of five questions. The directions say to write the slope intercept form equation of each line given the slope and y intercept. So this time I gave you the slope, I give you the y intercept, and you're going to put those in the correct spot of your slope intercept form equation. Keep in mind, the slope goes in front of the x. So that means where whatever equation we have here, the negative 8 over 3 should be in front of the x. Let's look at option A. Option A has a 6 in front of the x. That cannot be it. Option B has the negative 8 over 3 in front of our x. So most likely it'll be correct. And there's only two options. But your y-intercept, we said it's 6. Our y-intercept goes at the end of the equation. And there's our six at the end of the equation. So our first question here is B. You would click next and then it gives you a new set of questions. Question number two, they gave you a slope again and we gave you a y intercept. Put those in the correct spot. What equation will that be? Another slope, another y intercept, another slope and another y intercept. Also, this graph here, you don't really have to pay much attention, but actually I'm already kind of front loading a little bit of what it is we're doing. Remember our slope is rise over run. Remember that rise we had red. This is going up seven and this is going over five, up seven over five. So take a look at this graph. We know how to find slope. So when I give you a graph, you should be able to find the slope and we're almost ready to finish off that equation. Our y-intercept we said is the point where our line crosses the y-axis, that would be negative two. So already we're making it simple for you to find these equations of these lines and taking those baby steps to where you'll be like, oh, this is easy, hopefully. If not, that's okay. We try to help during office hours, you can come see us then too. So this is another slope, another y-intercept. Make sure it's in the correct spot, pick the correct equation. And then after you get to the end of question um, five, there's a little reflection at the end. Let us know how confident you feel about writing the equations of lines in slope intercept form. Do you feel very confident in writing these equations and putting them in the putting the numbers in the correct spot? And if you're not feeling confident, write that too. But also this is a little self-reflection to let you know, well, I'm not getting it light bulb, maybe I should be going to um, tutoring or asking questions while I'm in class. If you don't wanna visit us during tutoring, use the chat, let us know. We, I, we try to answer all these questions on here. Um, oh, cool, somebody just finished the homework. It was easy, yay, good job, perfect. We're not trying to complicate it for you guys. We just really want you to understand the slope has to go in front of the X. The Y intercept has to go behind. I know it seems very trivial, and not too difficult, but if we're in a hurry, if we're not paying attention, we can miss those type of things. All right, so that is it basically. Once you're done with your homework, you can click submit. Now, one thing I wanna make sure you know is if you're not happy with the score that you get on this homework, if you missed some questions, you can redo this, this, um, this Google Forms. Oh, don't worry, everything will be graded. Yeah, we'll, we'll make sure everything's graded. Don't worry, but I know you did it. I saw it already. So you'll get your points, don't worry. For the notebook, some pages some pages aren't graded. I'll go, I'll go in there and look right now. Let me write that down. No, I'll do that right now. I, I okay. was in, I'm in the notebook right now anyways. I'll let you know the name.
All right, so don't worry, it will be graded in a bit. You'll get it. Um, but that's it. Basically, your homework is here. Um, your notebook, you, you can also make sure you finish that up. Um, and your exit ticket is already up. So if you click on that, ooh, 15 of you, good job, those 15 of you. Click on your exit ticket, turn it in. You don't want to be late on that. Um, and that is it. We're actually letting you go 20 minutes early. Use these 20 minutes off Zoom, or um, if you want to stay with us, let us know you're going to stay with us. But use these 20 minutes to complete any of the assignments that you're missing or today's homework. If you get it done, then you're done for Friday's homework. Um, but other than that, if you have questions, let us know. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.